That occurred in different parts of the city of Mecca, Saudi Arabia this evening, lightning struck the Mecca clock tower. The lightning that struck the tower turned night into day. Vehicles had difficulty in advancing on the roads, that turned into the lake. This summer, several picturesque countries in the Middle East became tinderboxes. As extreme temperatures and severe droughts ravaged the region, forests burned, and cities became islands of unbearable heat. In June Kuwait recorded a temperature of 53.2 degrees Celsius, while Oman, the United Arab Emirates, and Saudi Arabia all recorded over 50 degrees. A month later, temperatures in Iraq spiked to 51.5 degrees, and Iran recorded a close 51 degrees. Worst of all, this is just the start of a trend. The Middle East is warming at twice the global average, and by 2050 will be 4 degrees Celsius warmer as compared with the 1.5 degree mark that scientists have prescribed to save humanity. The World Bank says extreme climatic conditions will become routine, and the region could face four months of scorching sun every year. According to Germany's Max Planck Institute, many cities in the Middle East may literally become uninhabitable before the end of the century. And the region, ravaged by war and mired in sectarianism, may be singularly ill-prepared to face the challenges that threaten its collective existence. Subscribe to the channel and keep abreast of natural changes on the planet.